PowerPoint presentation over artificial intelligence. There's a few directions that artificial intelligence can take. There's technical and formal successes. That is where a machine or robot can perform any type of intellectual or intelligent task that, that a human can. Another direction would be to reject the classical images to make way for new technologies in the hopes of artificial intelligence surpassing human intelligence. Can machines that are made of artificial intelligence, can they think, can they solve problems? Another direction to take would be to start with neuroscience, because psychology and neuroscience have played a big role in the history of artificial intelligence. By mimicking our brains, they can create better robots that have intelligence in mapping our neural passages. A lot of people believe that neuroscience is the actual key to unlocking smarter artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence basic issues. The computation. AI can be found in every computer, smart TV, and smartphones like the Androids or Apple devices, including the little Samsung gear watches and the Apple watches. It's even in like the robotic arms inside the vending drink machines because something is telling it to grab a soda. Something is making it follow orders. One of the issues at hand is cognition. Can artificial intelligence think about what it needs to do or is it just pre-programmed to follow orders? Does it even have the ability to have any type of free will or thought? That brings me to ethics. Can artificial intelligence, including robots, make moral decisions? Can they even be pre-programmed to make moral decisions? These are some of the issues that inventors face whenever building artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence cognition. Do machines feel emotion? Do they have cognitive abilities being performed by machines? Is there the human intelligence versus the artificial intelligence? which is smarter. Well, some people believe that machines lack emotion. I believe that machines have the ability to film emotions if programmed to do so. In the case of the Furby, it appeared to show emotion. It was programmed to get angry if it was forgotten to be fed. It was even supposed to be able to learn. I'm not talking about the Furbies that came out in 1998. I'm talking about the ones that came out in 2012. The ones that started out speaking Furbish but then as you talk to them, they learn the English language. On artificial intelligence, computers and robots are faster than humans when making decisions because they are pre-programmed to do so. I had once read an article where it said that an artificial intelligence system can make a million diagnoses within 10 minutes as opposed to a regular doctor making one diagnosis in 10 minutes. Unfortunately, they still lack the moral compass. Artificial Intelligence Summary In conclusion, there have been many philosophical debates on whether artificial intelligence lacks the emotional capacity to have actual cognition. Because by lacking emotion, they believe that the artificial intelligence falls below human intelligence. On human level, artificial intelligence they have been building robots in Japan that actually look like humans. And some can stand up, sit down, move their arms around. Some can hold conversations. Granted, they are pre-programmed to be able to say such phrases. But even if they look like humans, I don't think that they'll end up getting the consciousness of free will. If artificial intelligence like robots ever actually gained consciousness or free will, I think it would probably end up turning into something like the movie Terminator. There are actually many people that believe right now that we are limiting ourselves by only getting the robots to a human level artificial intelligence instead of actually surpassing human level intelligence. But artificial intelligence can be used to describe anything, including Alexa and Siri now. Because they have it set where Alexa can control the lights in your home or your thermostat or even your TV. 
but I believe they still have a long way to go.